Now, the London skyline is constantly evolving, with new and iconic buildings appearing across the city. Well, these advanced and innovative projects are made possible by steel fabrications from companies like William Hare. Lucy Siegel reports now on the challenges that have to be overcome when creating complex steel structures on high-profile projects. Over the last 15 years, the London skyline has undergone a dramatic evolution. It now boasts some of the most innovative buildings in the world, so iconic they have their own nicknames. The cheese grater, the walkie-talkie. But what goes on behind the scenes to enable these ever more complex structures? Building in the centre of the City of London is, is a big logistical challenge. A lot of it is about getting things to the site, getting things away from the site. The bigger the project, the bigger the challenge. And the current Woolbrook Square project is pretty big. It's also located slap bang in the heart of the City of London. So Tim Hare has chosen his project partners carefully. William Hare build a steel frame and they have some particular strengths and uh, we've worked with them on, on numerous occasions. And in particular what they do is they're good at the collaboration and the communication bit of the project and, and that's what makes it tick. That's efficient in time and efficient in cost and efficient in terms of sustainability, ease of build. William Hare's a family-run business. It was formed uh, at the turn of the last century and um, grew to be a £200 million business that has factories uh, all over the UK and over the Middle East. We're pretty unique here at William Hare's in that we have an engineering office of more than 300 staff, technical staff, based here in the UK and over in Chennai in India. Now, that's pretty strange for a, a steelwork fabricator in that normally this is a small engineering office but we really do believe in engineering and the importance of getting the engineering right. Our philosophy is that the success of a project is won or lost at the engineering stage. And there's one project in particular that's put that philosophy to the test. It's here at the Olympic Stadium and for William Hare it's all about the roof. Part of the Olympic legacy involved turning the stadium into a venue for Premier League and other great sporting events. Balfour Beatty took on the job in 2013 and elected to work with William Hare on that all-important roof. It's been quite some transformation. The, the roof is twice the size in terms of its plan area. It's now 45,000 square metres. It's actually four times the weight of the old roof. Because of the design parameters, we have to have a steel roof on a cable structure. So there's the weight of the cables, there's the weight of the steelwork, and there's the weight of the roof covering. And there are now 14 lighting panels, each weighing 43 tonnes, housing some of those lamps, those same lamps that we use during the Olympic Games. But it's back in the workshops in Bury where these complex structures first become reality. Behind me, the work is actually going through fabrication to add all the value to the the individual pieces of steel to add the connections, the interface um, pieces so that it, when it gets delivered to site it gets built up like a Meccano kit basically. One of the big things that, that hairs bring to the party is smart coordination. Our workshops are a bit like Gatwick Airport, you have a slot, if you miss the slot it's gone. So we focus very hard on pushing our fabrication through at the right time leading to success on site. We anticipate that what we deliver has to be perfect when it arrives to site. The fit-up has to be exact. So once we've fabricated it and joined fabrication, we keep surveying, we keep monitoring, we keep checking it to ensure that when it leaves the factory door, it'll be perfect when it arrives at site. And one of the jobs going through the workshop today just happens to be part of the studio for the new James Bond movie. I have a feeling 007 would appreciate the laser precision. <laughs> 